Hey guys, what's up? Back with another video, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys uh, how to get the college hoops in NBA 2K19. So basically, how to play with college teams, how to play college basketball uh, in NBA 2K19. All consoles: PC, Xbox One, PS4. Uh, PC is gonna be the best way to do it, but I'll show each way. Well, PS4 and Xbox One is kind of the same thing. But let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so I'll try to make this as simple as possible. What you want to do now? This is gonna be for PC. I'll have a time timestamp for each console. Well, PC, PS4, and Xbox One will be included together. But uh, PC is what we're gonna work on right now. You want to go to this website called NLSC. And if you haven't, you know, ever heard of this, you want to go to. You can go to games 2K19, but you can also go to downloads. This quick shortcut. Go to downloads, then go down here to NBA 2K19. Now, if, if you're familiar with modding, then you already know. But if you're not familiar with modding and want to get into it, this is the number one website you should go to. I'm not getting paid to say this. I'm just saying that's where I get everything from. You go here. You can go here. It's like where the cyber faces are, player and coach updates. But what we're focused on is when it comes to college hoops. Now, part of it is if you guys remember my Zion Williamson my career series. First of all, 50 likes on this video, and I'll bring it back to this channel. Um. Yeah, so that Zion Williamson I used, I went here with the player and coach updates, and this is where I get all my cyber faces from. So there is about three players that have their cyber face in 2K19 that play for Duke. So you have Trey Jones, RJ Barrett, and Zion Williamson. So let me find them right now. Now here we go. We have two mods for RJ Barrett's face. If you want to click on it right here, you can preview it. It's going to show it right here. You click open this. This is RJ Barrett. So if you're on PC, this will come in handy for this whole thing. You could just download that. Then we have a uh, Trey Jones right here. Trey Jones also plays for Duke. So we can open that up and we can see there he is. People spend a lot of time making those. Last but not least, uh, Zion Williamson we have. So you wanna, if you want to, if you really care about making it super realistic, which you should if you're doing it on PC, you wanna download those three mods and then somehow import it into 2K, learn how to do that. You can import it into 2K and when you start your new my league, you can uh, have those cyber faces in there playing for Duke. The next thing you wanna do after you get those downloaded, you wanna go to forums right here, the top left. Go to forums, scroll down to NBA 2K19, NBA 2K19 modding, click on that, and then you want to see this by Rob Davis. He is the guy who helped me so much making that whole Zion series. So you want to click here, complete guide, and uh, as you go down, you can see all the different stuff. But what you want to do is the all in one thread Rob Davis, high school, college, my league mod. Now, as you see here, that he's working on high school, he worked, he's already got these done high school, college hoops. He has videos on it, which I will just have this whole uh, thread in the description below. I want you guys to open this up and just watch those videos. It'll show you how to install it. Okay, so here I am on the PC, NBA 2 k 19 Decided to be easier just to show you guys. Now look, you go into my league. You, uh, I'm just gonna make a new my league. And from here, you go to not any of this stuff. You go to current NBA teams. But before you click on that, click uh, use custom roster. So if you're using PS4 controller, click triangle to use a custom roster. Then go to user created roster. Wait for that to load up. Then once it loads up, what you want to do is you want to open triangle again and you want to search by content name. Type in no NBA roster. So you want to type in just like this and then you want to search. Now you see right here 181 downloads, no NBA roster by Rob Davis. Let me click on this right here and this is going to be the roster we're using for the whole college uh thing so let me finish let's go to current nba teams right here see if they start the regular season before you set up anything go to setup options what you want to do is you want to go to r2 all the way to um contracts turn off salary cap trust me it'll help you because when you try to sign players who are going to be free agents you want to try to sign them the salary cap is going to mess everything up just turn it off uh same thing with trade logic just turn it off it makes things so much easier considering everyone's going to stay in the same place anyway if it's college um just keep it like that then you want to advance next thing you want to do is when you select all user teams this is really important you want to select every single team so select all teams then advance again all this stuff i mean if really you could just skip it then what you want to do you can auto generate it doesn't really matter so here's why we did that whole no nba roster that roster is filled as you can see right here hold up it's gonna be filled with no name fictional characters all of them are fictional None of them are real life NBA players, even professional athletes. This makes it more realistic when you're playing a college season. You don't see like, you know, you don't see uh, LeBron James playing for Oregon off the bench. You know what I'm saying? So it makes it a lot more realistic. Not only that, what you want to do next, you want to go to relocation. All right. And for each team, you have to do this. Go to relocation. And for some reason, it doesn't connect me to internet. So hold up. Okay, so for some reason, my internet's being weird with 2K19 on the PC. It's not letting me get on. So I'm using this roster that I already have. Now, if I go to uh, 
relocation expansion relocation right here usually it'll say i'll have a screenshot it'll say download team designs but since i'm not connected to the internet i can't do that but you know obviously connect to the internet download team designs and same thing you just want to search in college names you want to just type in duke and it'll have duke designs as you can see on the screen each team you have to do that with so you replace each team the 76ers i became the blue devils you know then the volunteers then the oregon ducks the buckeyes each team then you can also go to like their uh design arena and that's how it looks right here so if you design the arena it looks just like the arena now all this what i just did i could you could also do it on ps4 but there's another component to it now with 2K, it's gonna be a lot of branding, little stuff like it'll be NBA branded, the stanchions, you see how it says NBA TV. I don't, here, let me go to uh, the stanchion real quick. Kinda hiding, but you guys can see on the stanchion, it says NBA TV. Well, and the chairs have NBA everything in the core, you can see the NBA logo. With the with the mods in that thread, everything will change to NCAA. So it'll be all like trademarks, NCAA stuff, their logo embedded on there instead of the NBA logo, which makes it look way more cooler. So in general, if you just mess around in the NLSC and there's so many different mods scattered all over the forums, all over just the downloads tabs, kind of put it together, then it's gonna, you're, you're gonna come out with uh, the whole college thing, like how I did with Design Williamson. So basically, you know, you get Design Williamson, Cyberface, and the RJ Barrett and everything. You get all the courts updated, you get the NCAA logos. There's even a scoreboard uh, mod. I couldn't find it, I was looking for it right now, I couldn't find it, but you could, you know, search around and you'll find it, NCAA scoreboard. Uh, all that little stuff it makes it really cool so that's how you guys could do it because people a lot of people are asking me that's on pc next up is uh ps4 and xbox one kind of tying in together okay so i'm on the ps4 now and we're gonna do the same thing basically so you go to my league press triangle create new my league go to use custom roster and since it's on ps4 you can't do mods so you can't have an accurate looking zion williamson or ncaa trademarks or you know ncaa scoreboard but you still can't have the team designs and uh you can kind of Imagine it looks like the player. So you want to go to user creator roster again, and uh, it looks right here. Third one, almost a hundred thousand downloads and 55 updates by Skillless Kill. Now he's pretty like he did this for 2K18, 2K17. He's pretty well known for doing that uh, for years. Basically, what you want to do, you want to just open this up, really simple. Then continue with current NBA teams. Go to start regular season. And uh, you want to go to setup options. You can just set up the amount of games, like 29 games. It's kind of hard because you can just do 29 games, but you can't do uh, two halves. That's the only downside of all this. You can't do two halves, which would be cool, but you can just set it to what, uh, 10 minute quarters then, have 20 minute halves, and uh, you can just do that. And when you advance, you want to again select all teams. Same thing too, by the way, with the salary cap. You can just turn that off. Uh, you can just do auto generated rookies. Then what you want to do, you want to press uh, B or circle. Go all the way to relocation. Here it is, by the way, the upload set slash download team design. Click on that. Go to download team designs. Then you want to search by keyword. So press triangle. And the keyword is going to be the keyword, as you can see in the bottom right, is a skill AZ kill. So skill is kill. Uh, and he has all these different look, he has Louisville jerseys. He has all these kind of smaller colleges. You just keep going through all the images. He has, uh, let's see. Xavier Ohio State. All these different jerseys, so if you can do the same thing you do on PC. So open the Gators. You can preview slash download. You can even bookmark this credit. So if you bookmark it now, or every time you go to Team Designs, you can go to this guy right here, and you can just click on it. Use this image. What you do is go to the roster, and as you can see right here, this is supposed to be Duke. So it's kind of a hint. They have Zion Williamson. You want to change this team to Duke, uh, so you have you know the Duke jerseys in court and just the team name. So you have Zion Williamson, this is going to be the most accurate that he has. You can, you can mess with this too. You can just go to edit the player and uh, from there kind of mess around with it. Then you have Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett, uh, Trey Jones. Now, obviously, if you're on PC, it looks like them. It looks exactly like them. On uh, PS4, not so much, but that's basically the only way I found out how to do it. Same thing on Xbox, just literally typing the same thing, typing college hoops. But uh, PC is really where I want to make this video because if you can get 2K on the PC and just do that, that'd be so much fun. And it is, so I suggest you guys go try it out. If this video helped you at all, make sure to leave a like. 50 likes if you want to see the continue Zion Williams in my career series. Let's get it. Peace.